Vanakam, Ram Ram, Namaste, Dosto. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're in Pondicherry, a beautiful former French colony situated right by the ocean. Today we're going to explore and bring you guys along with us. Let's go. We are on the beautiful Pondicherry Boulevard at the moment, um, which is located directly in front of the area called White Town. And this sort of seems like the tourist area for Indians that are traveling to Pondicherry and foreigners alike. So you do see a lot of people from different countries here in the area. And oh my God, it's such a beautiful sunny day today. Um, we actually had to extend our stay here in Pondicherry. We wanted to be gone yesterday, um, but we had a few days of rainy weather and a little bit of kind of on the colder side. So we extended our stay for one more day so we can actually film a video for you guys. And I think it's really worth it because it is so, so beautiful here in the area. Also, the views that you're getting here are absolutely stunning. You have loads of these like little benches on the side of the boulevard where people are just sort of resting and enjoying their day. And uh, yeah, very, very beautiful and nice start to our day here in Pondicherry. So I think we're going to take you guys in for a little bit of a walk around the White Town area. And straight away, something that jumped out at Naomi and I when we arrived here is the beautiful architecture. Obviously, it's French past. You can still see that here. A lot of the buildings are very, very different, very interesting and beautifully unique. There's also plenty of different cafes, French pastry shops and many different things to check out around the area. So both of us are very excited to spend the day exploring around beautiful Pondicherry and bringing you guys with us as well. That promenade as well is absolutely gorgeous. It seemed to stretch very, very long and far and it's a perfect place to come for a walk. Maybe you can take like a takeaway coffee from one of these many cafes and go for a nice leisurely stroll along that promenade. It's really, really beautiful. But uh, let's go and explore some of the White Town area and the rest of beautiful Pondicherry. That building over there actually looks really, really cool, but I think it's, I wanted to go there because I thought it might be a cafe or of some sorts or something, but it looks like it's the Department of Tourism. It's a very nice building though, very beautiful colors and very beautiful architecture. It's a craft bazaar. Ah, craft bazaar, Department of... I just, I was just able to read Department of Tourism. Okay, so it's a bazaar. <laughs> Not too sure what this area here is known for in terms of um, craft articles or craft bazaars or DIY things that people can be doing. But um, everywhere over the city we have seen a lot of leather and a lot of sort of organic cotton so far. So um, I think leather and cotton is a part of it. But I'm sure that this craft bazaar has a lot more to offer. Wow, these bags are beautiful. Wow, check out these beautiful garlands. They're so nice. Wow. There are so many things around here that are really, really beautiful, especially all of the dream catchers. This is absolutely 100% uh, the type of stuff that I would be buying if, <laughs> if we wouldn't travel out of a backpack. Uh, if we were just to go home after India, I would probably be buying all of the dream catchers in the area here. But uh, this time around, I'm unfortunately not able to buy anything because we have very limited space. But uh, yeah, this looks absolutely beautiful. Check out the look between the garlands. What's up guys? These flowers are absolutely gorgeous. The colors here are so vibrant. I even wore a t-shirt and I think I'm matching a lot of the walls around yeah. here. Look Can you stand in front of the wall? Yeah. I would say it's a 95% color match yeah. at least. I can blend in, I can easily disappear if I don't want to do any bargaining, so... It's like perfect. a Pondicherry camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this place is really cool though. Baby, you give me ice and fire You're giving me wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me fear night up You whip up my appetite Just outside of the bazaar that we have just been on, um, it looks like they're sort of uh, building a stage here. Uh, maybe there will be a festival or something like that going on later this week. 
Um, but here we have a giant statue of Gandhi. And as you can see, um, all of the flower garlands that we have actually been talking about in the last few videos are sort of wrapped around the statue of Gandhi. And you can even see that there's a staircase for people to get up and down. Now at the moment it looks like uh, parts of the stairs are sort of elevated, so you cannot go up at the moment. But uh, it looks like a lot of people go up here uh, in a regular manner and put garlands onto the statue of Gandhi. And you also have these really, really cool looking columns that are with so much love for detail. Wow. And they also look really, really old, actually. Um, as you can see, sort of in the lower area, some parts look like they are really old, but in the upper areas, there's so much detail going on. These are so, so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And then obviously you're directly located at, at the beach. So this area is just mind-blowingly beautiful. Oh yeah, lighthouse. Got a really beautiful lighthouse as well, which is overlooking obviously the beach and water area. The whole sort of setting of Pondicherry, to be honest, is very, very special, very unique. And just to be honest, very different. Obviously, as I said, the French colonial past, you see that in all of the architecture, as I was saying. And then in terms of the actual streets themselves, you get a very sort of European vibe and feel to it, mixed in with the beautiful culture of India as well. We saw some amazing street art that was leading up here to the Gandhi statue as well. Really vibrant and beautiful. And great to see that creativity is truly thriving here in Pondicherry. How cool is this? We're on our way searching for a cafe because it's almost unbearably hot today. So we said we really, really need like a nice iced coffee or something like that. And as we were walking along the street, came across this very cool little piece of history there. But um, you see that type of stuff everywhere around here as well. It's very, very cool. A whole area actually of White Town and a lot of the area where we're staying, we're actually not even too sure of the name of the area we're staying, but it's just basically parallel or behind the White Town area. It's more of a local area and it's that's the type of area that we typically like to stay. Connecting with locals is our number one priority most of the time when we're traveling, so it's a thumbs up from us. And this area of White Town obviously is going to be a bit more pricey, but you can see the beauty on every corner here. Would you like a coffee or a tea? Coffee. Coffee? Okay. Hello. Could we get uh, two coffees, please? Thank you. It's strong coffee. Strong, yeah, sure. As strong as possible. <laughs> <laughs> we found a cafe that looks very, very cool. It's called the Coromandel Cafe. And it's just sort of hidden away behind this beautiful little door. And then it sort of looks like you step into paradise. Wow, such a lush garden. Loads and loads of people here enjoying um, the cafe. So it's it looks really, really beautiful. I'm sure that we find something nice to drink here now. For sure. All right, you guys. So the first cafe that we went to and that I actually showed you on camera, there was a 30 minute wait for a table just to get a coffee or a snack or anything like that. So instead of that, we decided to go to the Hope Cafe and there we ordered a tomato and cheese sandwich and a chocolate crepe. And both of them were actually really, really nice, right? They were super tasty and obviously, guys, we're not having an authentic Indian experience because I suppose the things to do here in Pondicherry leans more towards the area of White Town and all of the cafes that are around here. And you see so many people enjoying the food and the coffee around here. And the food in that cafe was very, very nice. And now we came out here to a local coffee stand and we're going to enjoy some beautiful filtered coffee, which I've heard is the thing to go for instead of the chai in the south of India. Exactly. So the little neighborhood cafe that we're currently at is called Vasundhara. And uh, the coffee, as you can see here, is 25 rupees or 20 rupees, depending on if you want it with uh, milk or not. But it's very, very uh, economical, let's say, like that. And it looks very nice. And you can actually sit here 
on the side of the road and sort of do some people watching, which I find a lot more pleasing actually than sitting in a cafe with AC and uh, being sort of tucked away from reality. So I actually enjoy sitting on the side of the road a lot more and uh, being sort of in touch with the people here instead of sitting in an uh, AC type of room. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. To give the coffee in the south of India a try, I'm very sure it's very, very hot. Oh, yeah. And the owner of the cafe actually asked us how strong we wanted the coffee, so we said, strong, you know. <laughs> Let's see how strong this actually is. Ah. Ah. It's nice, very sugary, very milky, sort of a comfort coffee. Very good. Well, I can really see why you guys, a lot of you guys, have been commenting down below under our videos telling us to try the filtered coffee of southern India. This is absolutely spectacular. It's basically coffee, milk and a little bit of sugar, but it is really, really tasty. We had masa masala chai in the first video that we published from India in Chennai. That was really, really incredible as well. But to be honest, Naomi and myself are real coffee lovers. We also do appreciate a good glass of chai every now and then. This coffee is really blowing us away. I already finished mine. Luke didn't even start his. <laughs> and uh, the location of this cafe is so, so beautiful. Check this out. We're just sort of sitting in the shade under this beautiful old tree. And then over there across the street, it looks like a, probably like a government type of building. I think it says traffic police Puducherry on the side. Um, but it's a very, very old looking building and it's super beautiful just sitting here sort of enjoying uh, the area. So just sitting in the shade a little bit and relaxing. It's very beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good coffee. Yeah, really good. <laughs> How much do we owe? 50. 50. 50. Okay, nice. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice cafe here. Yeah, <laughs> very, very tasty. Where are you from? I'm from Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Are you from Pondicherry? I'm from Pondicherry. Ah, oh, nice. Beautiful, <laughs> Beautiful place. Yeah, yeah. What is the what is the best thing to do in Pondicherry? One ashram is there, Sri Aurobindo Ashram. Ashram. You can meditate there. Uh-huh. Wow, close by. Yeah, just after this park, you go straight. Oh, it's the Aurobindo. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Amazing. Really, really good coffee. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? You're good. Very nice. 220. 220. Wow. They're really nice. You make them in the area? Or you make the bags or yeah? Wow, nice. <laughs> Let's have a look. This one is nice, no? Colorful. This is beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm sure my mom my mom would love this bag. Oh you have more down here. Oh. So many different ones. It's a difficult choice, huh? Yeah. Very, very difficult. difficult. But I think I <clears throat> I think uh, the colorful one. It's beautiful, it's this so nice. Yeah. yeah. Very nice quality, eco-friendly cotton bags. We literally would just cross the road from where we had our coffee and uh, saw this guy selling the bags and Looks very interesting. Some of them are very uniquely designed. That oh. one's beautiful as well. This one's beautiful. 150. <laughs> this is 150? Oh. This one or the colorful one? What do you prefer? I like blue. Yeah, that's beautiful. This one? I'd go for that one, yeah. I think this one. 150. Yeah. Nandri, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for your help. Nandri, thank you. Beautiful bag. It's so beautiful and unique. Yeah. I love it. Perfect. Perfect. Maybe it, does it go with my outfit? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Huh? Different different pattern, but I love the color of it. Maybe it will go well with the darker color uh Korta that you have. Yeah. I love the little button. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So excited though. And the guy was so friendly as well. Um tried to have a little bit of a conversation with him but he has very little English but he was yeah. very smiley and friendly though. Yeah. Aww.
Nice little handle too. Oh, it's very long as well. It's very long. Crossbody. Perfection. Fashion. <laughs> this area here directly in front of this little arch here seems to be the Instagram spot for taking pictures. Uh, it's very, very nice to see all of the locals <laughs> taking pictures is very cool. I tried to get in on the picture, but I didn't manage to be there in time. <laughs> what I find very, very neat here in the boulevard area, as you might be able to see, is that um, every sort of 50 meters they have these signs saying join the war against plastic and love your city. And then actually like every 50 meters or so, they have these bins provided for the public um, that they can get rid of their trash. And it actually seems like it's working here in the area. You see very, very little trash uh, flying around and um, it's a very, very good initiative and I can only support the cause, right? Yeah, 100%. It seems to be one of the cleanest areas that we visited so far. And this is only the second place that we visited in India. Very, very clean, very pristine. The whole promenade area that we're walking along here. It's very well kept and it's a very good vibe too. It's just so, so beautiful here. The entire area, the entire space is super clean. Very, very nice to look at. A very uh, sort of tranquil, quiet environment. So. I can only suggest all of you guys actually to come and check out Pondicherry. It's very beautiful here. Hello. One uh, lime soda. Oh well. Fresh lime juice, just 20 rupees here on the corner of Nilgiri's Green Market. It's like a local supermarket here in Pondicherry. This fresh lime juice is absolutely perfect and uh, the sun is shining today. It's blasting down really, really heavily, heavily. So we're both very sweaty and dehydrated from all the walking around. So this lime juice is absolutely perfect. Really, really good. We actually went into the store a few minutes ago and bought some Gatorade and Luke now bought the fresh lime soda as well. And uh, just to kind of replenish because both of us were very thirsty and very hot. But uh, in comparison, I would say I really, really um, would go for the fresh lime soda. Super tasty, sweet carbonated water and some lime in there. It's absolutely perfect for this type of weather. Now in the area where we are staying at the moment, it's sort of a big mix of different stores. Um, this here, for example, is a laundry place. Then you have all of these sort of market areas where you can buy some clothes that look really, really beautiful. And they have the most amazing colors and patterns here in Pondicherry. Um, the, the, the clothes are just so, so beautiful. And then obviously you sort of have the local supermarkets, sort of uh, butchers and milk vendors and so on. And it actually looks like here in the area, as you can see here, maybe behind these guys, um, it looks like there were some old sort of structures here as well, uh, which they are currently renovating. So it kind of looks like the white town vibe is going to be uh, extended into this area here as well. And uh, yeah, other than that, you sort of have a few restaurants, a few news agents, coconut vendors. I feel like this area sort of has it all um, depending on what you need and what you're looking for. But usually if you are looking for something specific, you will find it here in the area. There's even a mall not too far away from here um, where they have lovely shops as well. So I do think this area here is very, very beautiful. guys so that was our little day of exploring around Pondicherry we really wish that we had more time here because we booked three nights and out of those three nights two full days of just rain but luckily enough we had today and today was absolutely beautiful what a beautiful place to visit and definitely if you ever do come to the south of India put Pondicherry onto your list it's definitely worth visiting and very, very unique in terms of architecture and general culture, I feel like, uh, here in the south of India. Yeah, there's so much to check out. The culture is so vibrant. It's a very, very special place for sure. So guys, 
it's a definite recommend recommendation from us and if you guys are looking for a place to stay in Pondicherry we can definitely recommend you this place here this is called Viras Residency mm -hmm. and um, it's nice budget friendly place and the rooms are spectacular they're very clean you have a nice AC and every room has a fan as well and the bathrooms are very clean too and it's sort of located in a more local area, so you don't feel like you are too extracted from the actual um, sort of culture and, you know, hustle and bustle of the area or of the city. Because I feel like White Town is very, very beautiful, but it's also a little bit detached in terms of where it is and how it feels. For sure, there's just plenty of tourists there. If you do want to get immersed into the culture and the people that actually live in Bondicherry, we would recommend this place right here. But for now, guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. We'll see you guys in the next Indian adventure. Nandri for watching. Danyavad. Chat to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.